Sony Vegas. What's up guys, Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be diving right into the project media window and taking a look at what Sony has improved. From the looks of it, you may have already seen a few changes different from last year's version. Even though it may look a little different, and by different I mean this little box down here that says tags and a few additional folders on the left. What you see here is all part of the new tag feature in Vegas Pro 12. It allows you to quickly tag your media files for better organization, which can be helpful when working with large projects with multiple scenes. So for example, if I click on this media clip right here, I can give it a tag by typing in this box. So let me just put horse. And yeah, that is singular because I'm only talking about you, Seabiscuit. And for this clip, let's put water. I can also set these as shortcut tags known as quick tags as I'm typing them. So let's go back and get rid of this tag right here by clicking the little X and retyping it. Now before I hit enter, I'm going to assign it a shortcut. I'd like it to be set as shortcut one. So I'm going to type in control shift one to assign the tag to the control one shortcut. Now I can hit enter to add that tag to the media. This way, if I have a bunch of other horse clips, I can select them all and add the horse tag to them simply by just hitting control one. You can also right click the media tag area and edit the tags that way. If this area gets in the way later on, you can toggle it off by clicking the drop down arrow next to the views button and clicking media tags. Quick tags work great if you're editing something such as a wedding. You can sort the ceremony and reception clips just by tagging them. They will all then be put in a dedicated folder under tags. So here we have all the horse clips and all the water clips. Now let's actually look over here for a sec. As you can see, we have a few new folders to look at. You can now see clips by type, whether it be audio, video, or stills, and you can see them by tags. The smart bins folder was here before, but wasn't always visible, which is where all your searches allocate into individual folders. A few other changes are noted when right clicking a clip. In the context menu, you'll see a few new things such as match project video settings, which is used to match your Vegas project settings to the selected clip settings. Click the annotation to the top to view the tip of the day all about matching project settings. Create video proxy is another new one. This creates lower resolution video clips that will help if you have limited processing power, AKA choppiness. You'll be able to preview your project smoothly and we'll get into that at a later time. And lastly, properties. It's not new, but now if you select multiple clips and edit the properties, all the selected clips will be affected. This is especially helpful when working with multiple alpha channel clips. Unlike in Vegas Pro 11, editing the properties only affected one clip at a time. That just about wraps up all the new features in the project media window for Vegas Pro 12. You can click the annotation to the top left to see a full demonstration of the project media window in my Sony Vegas Getting Started series. If there's any particular feature you'd like me to touch on, leave a comment below. And if you made it this far, let me know it by typing IMITF in the comments below. They will never know what we're talking about. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, click the subscribe button up at the top. You can also subscribe to this individual show to only receive Vegas Pro 12 updates. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.